guess, guess what? I am in Mystery City number six, and we are one Mystery City away from being done with what I believe is for sure all my pre-December interviews. So I'm really excited. I mean, it's been a process, and I'm so glad that I documented everything. I'll have it forever, and hopefully it, it keeps inspiring you guys. Um, a little thing about what's happening right now. My hotel has no power. <laughs> Like, I got here and I was actually gonna wash my hair because I felt like it was a little bit, I don't know, I, I did it a couple days ago so I wanted to wash it. Thank God that I didn't because apparently lightning hit their transformer. So I called and asked if it would be ready by tomorrow and they said, yeah, it shouldn't be that long. Hopefully it's not. I'm kind of just hanging out by the window. I was going to go and grab something to eat. I'm a little bit more tired than usual because I went home for about four hours. No, not four hours, I'm exaggerating. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I went home for about like, I would say like a good 12 hours and then I had to head back to the airport. So I'm not as happy as I usually am, but I'm happy to be here and I'm excited for this interview. I had been looking at the school for a while um, it's a school that carries some tradition and I'm all about that. I've gone to schools like, you know, throughout my life that have been around for a while and so I kind of like that feeling. I'm gonna go out to eat now. I'm not that hungry but if I wait any later then, I don't know, I'm gonna throw my schedule off. But I'll show you my creepy hotel right now. Okay, my flash turned on because there's literally no power. Okay, let's grab this and let's get out of here. I survived the power out and I'm back from having some food I didn't have anything for lunch so I kind of had like a lunch slash dinner just now and I was feeling really tired I didn't really want to record anything um, I decided not to go anywhere because the weather is so yucky that I didn't want to risk it now I'm gonna go and print some forms that I need to bring with me to the school interestingly enough because I wasn't born here, I had to bring like full proof of my citizenship. So I brought my passport with me, hoping I don't lose that. <laughs> yeah, it's just been an interesting trip. My flight was suddenly changed at 3 a.m. And so I had to take a later flight. So I got here later and that's why I don't have as much time to explore as I would have. Hi guys, so I actually had to print two forms at the school once. 
apart from my passport and I get why the school is like this this is a state school so and I've been to a state school so when you're not like at a private school or something like that there are so many more rules and regulations so I completely understand why it takes so much more paperwork so I'm gonna fill that out now and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a completely separate video because I noticed that my videos are getting so long I'm gonna make a completely separate video about how to ask for letters of recommendation so if you want to check that out I'll post the link on here or down there below wherever and you guys can check out how to ask for letters of recommendation if you haven't started applying yet and so I think that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll just finish off this video telling you guys how my interview went so this should be a much shorter one I'm like dodging this light <laughs> this is gonna be a shorter video because I, I don't even know if you guys watch it till the end do you watch it till the end I don't know but if you do thank you thanks <laughs> I'm one mystery city away from being able to sleep consistently but I don't even know if I'll have a normal schedule for like weeks because I've just been doing this for so long so hi guys so I hope that you can hear me I actually did not get to record and I almost forgot to record like what my experience was like um, during the interview this school is giving mystery city number three a run for its money um, yeah the interview day was great I think that they did some pretty cool things in there they really let us talk to faculty and students equally um, I thought that they were very organized they obviously have a lot to offer it's it's an old school I mean that's what happens with an older school and um, it's interesting because what happens is that you go to a lot of these interviews and obviously every school's good every every school is going to sell you on some of their major points and it's just up to you to know what you're looking for in a dental school um, for me specifically the more interviews i've done the more i realize exactly what to look for and what i want um, and this school just happens to have all of them and i don't sound as excited because i'm trying to keep my composure in public um, it has a low cost of living, it has great faculty, um, the students definitely, it's like the one school, you know, like every school tells you, oh, we're not really competitive, it's not that big of a deal, and then they are competitive, and it is a big deal. <laughs> so, uh, but I noticed that the atmosphere is totally different, the facilities are beautiful, um, the area isn't as amazing but I think that the further you go into like their downtown there's definitely more to do I couldn't do much because you guys saw like uh, the power of my hotel went out it was raining the entire time so I wish I could have done more but um, I know someone that's at the school and they had a lot of things to say prior to me applying and honestly it didn't disappoint the interview was like very 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 laid back and they were very open and willing to be honest about how they felt about me, so that was really nice. This is another one of those schools that keeps me down like on my budget, so really up there. <laughs> so when I do my ranking, I guess I will have to place this school somehow in between all the other ones I saw or the ones that I told you guys that I loved. Um, I somehow have to fit it into that and figure out how I'm gonna make that decision, but Probably on December 1st, a decision will be made for me. I think at this point, I have one left, right? Um, I just have to be faced with the fact that there could be, of the schools that I'm looking at, one of them waitlist me, and then um, I have that decision made for me. I only have one deposit, one $1,000 deposit. <laughs> I know that a lot of people, like when they apply to dental school, they'll be like, okay, well, I can put down one deposit here and then another school that calls me and they love me, I'm gonna put down another deposit. I don't know if I'm gonna have that opportunity. So hopefully December 1st, the people that I want or I have in mind are going to call. But yeah, anyway, I did make that video for you guys about um, asking for letters of recommendation so if you want go ahead and check that out and thanks for you guys um, sending me messages and for subscribing 
Um, I hope that this is somewhat helpful to you. So I hope that you guys like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.